So now that we know about basic dimensional analysis and we've used dimensional analysis to convert within the metric system, uh, we're ready to co do conversions between metric and the non-metric system. And these are a little bit harder because sometimes you have to string several different conversion, what we call conversion factors. Those fractions we were making is called a conversion factor. So sometimes we have to string several of them together to convert between a metric and a non-metric. The nice thing with working within the metric system, everything has that basic unit. So if you, you're writing everything in terms of that basic unit, so you should never need more than um, two, one or two of those conversion factors. All right, so I've got an example here. I want to convert eight kilograms to ounces. So I'm going from metric to non-metric. It doesn't really matter whether you're going metric to not to non-metric or non-metric to metric. Um, the principles are still the same. We're still going to use dimensional analysis. The only difference now is our conversion factors, our conversion table is a little bit more complicated or harder to understand. So um, if we look right at our conversion table, um, I want to convert kilograms to ounces. So we've got our conversion table and we want to figure out how we're going to go from kilograms to ounces. So I look and I see, well, I've got a conversion factor that relates pounds to kilograms. So I can see that it's 2.2 pounds equals one kilogram. All right, I've got that. Okay, but I want to go to ounces. Um, and then I look and I say, well, I've got pounds to ounces, right? I know that one pound equals 16 ounces. Okay, well, how do I put all that together? Um, so, uh, it's the same thing that we were doing before. We can play this sort of game where we try to get um, the ounces on the top using these two possible conversion factors that we can create from these two um, equivalencies. Um, so, 2.2 pounds to one kilogram. Well, I want the kilograms to cancel, so I want my kilograms to be on the bottom. So that means I need to divide on both sides by kilograms, and that would give me 2.2 pounds per one kilogram. Okay, I have that, and I can play the same game here. I want ounces to end up on the top, right? So I want, I want to leave the ounces on the top, um, and I'm going to divide on both sides by pounds, right? Because if I multiply by this factor, the kilogram is going to cancel, leaving me with pounds. So, kind of doing this all in one step. You could do it in two separate steps. That would be completely fine. So, if I divide on both sides by one pound, I have 16 ounces per. I'm just going to write LB for one pound. You could write the one there. All right, so I've got my two equivalence factors. Remember, these things are both equal to one, so it's completely legal to multiply by them. I'm not going to change the amount that I have there, as long as what I'm multiplying by is equivalent to one. That's a math trick that's used over and over again, multiplying by one or adding zero. All right, so now I'm going to do the actual work. I have eight kilograms, okay? Um, and all right, so I'm starting with kilograms. I'm going to use this top factor first, right? Because I, I want to cancel out the kilograms. So I got 2.2 uh, excuse me, pounds, that should be pounds, I almost wrote kilograms, that would have been wrong, per kilogram, okay, and I see my kilograms going to cancel out, but then I want to remember, now I'm going to have pounds left, so I want to multiply by my 16 ounces per pound, so my pounds will go away, and so what am I left with? Right? I've written it all as one. You could, like I said, you could do this in two steps. You can convert it to pounds and then take the pounds and convert to ounces. But we really could. It's all multiplying. We can just string these conversion factors together and do our canceling. And the better you get at this, the easier it'll be. So you gotta you gotta practice just a little bit. Um, all right. So now I am going to. I have eight times two point two times sixteen right, which when you put all that into your calculator, I didn't do it in my, that in my head, so 281.6 ounces, and then you're done, and that's all there is to it. The hard part is figuring out how you're going to string these conversion factors together and, and what you have. 
So what I always do is I, I look at what I have and I look at what relationships I have in that table, uh, or in our table that we talked about. Um, and, then, and, and then I look, okay, well that'll take, here I saw I can get to pounds, and then I know I can get from pounds to ounces. So um, that's what I look for, and then I decide, after that I decide how I'm going to write these fractions so that things cancel out the way that I want them. So that's one example. Uh, we'll try another one.